Okay, I'm gonna try my first hand at powder coating. I got my 500 bullets. And uh, I'm just gonna do a little batch at a time. Set them on this tray here. I've never done this, so bring you along for the ride. Gonna put a little, little bit. Some people measure it out. I think it's just like a tablespoon or something like that. This stuff is prolific. I'm gonna keep it dry. It's the uh, Eastwood Blue. I got it off of Amazon. I think it was like 28 bucks. I don't know. I can't remember. All right, I put in my little shaker, Dumaflachi. Um, I watched some other videos and they put beads in here to help with the agitation, but it's the first time, so I'm just gonna do it without beads. And if it works, I keep doing it like that. If it don't work, ooh, it's leaking. Oh, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, a little spotty. Let's give it a little more. Yeah, not too bad. The uh, underside isn't coated, so <coughs> put a little more in there. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe just some more tumbling. I'll, I'll bring you back when it's all well coated. Well, they look pretty good. First time at this, so I'm just gonna use uh, some needle nose. I'm gonna stand them up like so. The first thing I gotta say is this stuff gets everywhere. It even leaked out the side of this container here, so I need a maybe a little more, not necessarily airtight, but a little tighter container and it wants to get in every nook and cranny which is not bad which is what you want um, the color through the viewfinder looks more aqua than blue this looks more of like a royal blue than it looks like in the viewfinder but so what I got here what we got here uh, I stood them up here and I laid them down here just to see how it reacts in different orientations and uh, I wanted to coat my my uh, cap and ball lead balls but I forgot I had sprayed a little lubricant on them to keep them from oxidizing but uh, eh, it's an experiment and I tried um, using the same powder coat that had after I had tried to coat these with some regular bullets just to see if it would work and you can deduce that it doesn't work so the other thing I found is that my oven runs a little hot so I've got it at set at 325 and it's a little bit less than 400 so I'm going to turn it up to just a tick above 325 and I also put lead pucks down there because I'm not going to get anywhere near the melting temperature of the lead and that'll act as a heat reservoir so as I open the uh, as I open the door I won't lose as much heat but yep so I'm gonna put these in here for for uh, well I'm gonna watch till the paint starts to run or flow is what the instructions say and then 30 minutes after that so I won't make you wait I'll take my thermometer out see if I can get these in there without oh it's heavy these bullets are 360 grains a piece so they're a bit heavy hope I don't burn myself 
Ah, uh, there we go. All right. There we go. And we'll be back when they're ready. Okay. And here are the results. Uh, I didn't expect it to be flawless in my first attempt. Here is, um, where's that ball? Here, one of the balls that didn't have lubricant on it. It uh, coated pretty nice. These would be good for buckshot in my shot shell, or I th thought about maybe using these with a slingshot. These are a nice weight for a slingshot. Um, <laughs> this stuff is very durable or tough, I don't know. But uh, it's very sticky. So I think next time I'm gonna coat, try coating the foil with some uh, Pam or something so they don't stick. I'm not too worried about the bottom. So cooking them with the Standing up, I think, is the way to go because um, when they're lying horizontally, they do stick. And uh, here, here's two of them that were touching. So not only do they stick to the foil, they stick to each other, and it's very hard to get these apart. But the ones that were standing up, I'm not too concerned about that. The coating, there's a couple of spots. I'm not too worried about it. Main, main thing is where they're going to be contacting the barrel. So once I run these through the sizer, I'll see how it does. So that is it. That is my first attempt at powder coating. Didn't turn out too bad. I'd call that a success for a first, first run. And learn something every day. Okay, here is the second run of my bullet powder coating and I sprayed a uh, cooking spray, Pam, on the foil and I stood them all up. And not a hundred percent. This one did come off a little bit easier though. So, yeah, just have to be a little graceful with them. But they look like they coated all right. Yeah. So, definitely gonna get these into the press and load it right up. So, here we go. That deserves a little cowbell. Cowbell bump.